Are you missing that key player on your team and don't have the coins to afford them? Go to Buy Mark Coins for instant delivery on Ultimate Team Coins. Use code SAVAGE for 10% off at checkout. Yo, guys, what's going on? It's Savage here. Draft right around the corner. College football hype. Like, just because college kids, they're, they're grown-ups now. No, well, you know what I mean. They're coming into the NFL, and I figured we just did the simulation between Hall of Famers versus potential future Hall of Famers. Today, we're going to take an all-time school versus another all-time school. And judging, yes, the all-time, I just said the all-time, the all-time Alabama Crimson Tide versus the all-time Ohio State University, dude. This is also going to technically be like, like a quote-unquote rematch between the schools from I think it was two years ago when they played in the college football championship. I don't really remember, actually. I don't know how many years. I think it was. What, what year are we in right now? It doesn't matter. This video is going to be lit. Smack a like on it if you like these types of videos where I take, like, two just random teams and put them up against each other because I certainly love doing it. And also, comment your favorite college team and what version of your team would you like to see? The all-time team of your favorite college versus maybe their rival college. Just pick two teams from the all-time colleges. Let me know down below in the comment section, and I'll rock out with one. This is going to be super lit. I'm going to show you guys the rosters. I'll put a timestamp where you can go to skip through the teams, and then we, you can just watch the gameplay if you don't really care or you know who's on the teams already. But without further ado, time to show you the rosters. All right, fellas, time for you guys to submit your guesses. Who takes it? All-time Alabama or all-time Ohio State, dude? Ohio State, they, they're going to be receiving the ball from Yo, they got Zeke. They got Shazier. They got, I think, Cardell Jones is their quarterback. Oh, my God, spin move on the kickoff right there. My ankles just got broken. There's a flag. I'll pick it up after the penalty. Now, that was a 15-yard penalty right there. It was a block in the back. I think it was 15 yards. I think, no, half the distance to the goal. My fault, my fault. But right here, shotgun set right now. Cardell Jones, play action to Zeke Elliott. They actually got a really nice O-line. Like, they're, look at this. Look at this pocket protection. Cardell Jones waiting, finally finding a wide open receiver. That was Brian Hartline. Yo, now here they come out. It looks like they're going to be throwing a bomb right here. I could be wrong. Could be a draw. Could be a draw. It is a draw. Zeke Elliott running to the right. Zeke Elliott first touch of the game for four yards. I don't know why they are not feeding that man they should just be absolutely feeding Ezekiel Elliott but Marcel Darius and I think well I think you pronounce that guy's first name is Javier Arenas or Javier I think it's Javier I don't know it's something crazy but that was a four yard gain right there second and six right now dude I'm, I'm always hype I'm, I'm always hype around the draft especially I, I really start to look at all these college kids I mean obviously these dudes are already in the league but right here play action play action overthrow right there intended for number 13 Roman Harper and I don't know I think that might be Kareem Jackson yet again yes it is on the coverage but as I was saying yeah it's definitely interesting as the draft type comes up it just makes me love like I I don't really watch college football I probably should but these all-time teams right here are super fun to obviously simulate is right there almost an interception by ha ha Hillary Clinton Dix right there man playing that ball low even though it was probably there was literally no chance I don't know why Cardell Jones is happy uh, he literally missed Brown on that pass, but it's fourth and six. Probably going to see the field goal unit come on. All right, man. AJ McCarron under center, single back set, and we're in a run. And they're off and broken tackle down the sideline. Oh, my gosh. Not a not a bad first run for Mark Ingram right there. I remember when he won the Heisman. Let's see, man. Single back set right here. Okay, going back to Mark Ingram, man. Oh, that's probably coming back. That's going to be holding. Uh, you just know every single penalty is going to be holding. Oh, it might have been... It might have been something on either 74 or John Simon. Let's see. Oh, it was holding. Yeah, it's coming back. That sucks. Single back set for McCarron right here. Oh, he's getting a little jumpy on that side. And that's why, man. Mark Ingram is just finding a way up. Dude, I, I guess I, I don't really know. All, like I said, I don't really know all about college. I don't really know who Alabama's all-time linemen are. But they're making some holes for Mark Ingram. Or is Mark Ingram just that good? Or is Ohio State's overall defensive line just like kind of trash it don't really matter though because it's a good game so far i mean it's a battle so far two penalties one on each team i form set right here let's see what it's gonna be it's gonna be another run oh he got dude that sucks anyway especially when you're playing in a game and you run into your lineman and your dude falls and you ain't quick enough to get like the rebalance thing 
Dog, Mark Ingram could have probably went out yard with that. Let's see, man. Third and 12. It is a five set. It is literally a five set right here. Let's see what he's doing. Oh, my God. McCarron's got some time. McCarron got some time. Eddie Lacy. Let go, big. Go. Do Big Mac Eddie Lacy right there, man. Running wild. Dude, it's a single back set right here. We got three players at the bottom of the screen out on routes. It's looking like, yes, it is. Mark Ingram rolling up. Nice little check down. Nice little comeback right there, dude. That was a freaking... Dime. I'm Mari Cooper, bro. Mari Cooper, man. Look at him. He's like flexing his stuff. I like that. First down right now. Let's see. Can Ohio State's defense bail them out right here? That's the shotgun set. Third and one. Got to see what this is. I got, I got to see exactly what they're trying to diagnose. A little bit of motion. It's going to be a Z spot. It's going to be a Z spot. Amari Cooper wide open. Amari Cooper shifty. Oh, I don't know why he shifted that way. I don't know why he came towards us. He should have shifted up, and he probably could have broke some ankles. They don't care, though. They do not care. Let's see what they got right here, man. They got Lacey lined up at receiver. They got Lacey lined up at receiver. A little bit of pressure. Incomplete. Joey Bosa forcing that incompletion. Dude, Bradley Roby on cover. They got... I didn't realize how good some of these teams are. Like, how, I didn't really realize, like, who came from where. You know what I mean? It's kind of crazy seeing this all-time OSU defense with Chazier, Roby, Apple. Like, it is. it actually is insane. Alabama are going to take their points right here. I'm sure they're going to be up 3-0. And they get the ball back at half. So, I mean, if you picked Alabama to win this, you're looking pretty. Dude, it's going to be first and 10 right now for the Alabama Crimson Time all-time team. Mark Ingram right there falling forward for another four-yard run. He's showing positivity on the run game, but dude, whenever they pass it to him, he's like eight yards in the backfield. They're literally setting my mans up for failure. I swear to God, if they give him some open space, he's gone. I should have took a more in-depth look at some of the stats on some of these freaking guys because obviously not every team's going to have such stacked players, but right there, Mark Ingram wide open, dropping that in the middle of the field, dude. That's going to force a fourth and one right there. And it looks like OSU is going to get that ball back. Cardell Jones is about to see the football for the first time since like the first quarter. All right, man. Single back set. Had to itch the back of my neck. That means there's a touchdown, right? Okay, they're going to Zeke, dude. I don't know why they weren't feeding Zeke earlier, but maybe that's why. Because there's no freaking button block for the man. Yo, you got Nick Mango. You got Mewhort. You have uh, you had some. I forget who the other. They had another really good guard. Um, on this all-time team and Zeke is just unable right now to show off his explosiveness there not sealing the edge second and 11 now. Oh showing pressure dude Harper just came up in the box and they're blitzing with him But no, no Zeke Elliott Zeke Elliott gets shifty bro down to the 35 minute and 13 left in the third quarter man This game's tight. It's, it's, it's getting down to crunch time. I for man it's, it's actually heavy. This is heavy. Look how many dudes they got to the right side. But they're going counter. They went counter. They're like, Zeke get it. Oh, my God. Zeke just shifted into his own line. Man, it don't matter. Still falling forward. 11-yard gain. Single back set right here. Two receivers to the bottom. They got a receiver and a tight end at the top. Zeke in the backfield. And they're feeding Zeke yet again. Oh, my God. He just ran. He's dead. Zeke just died. Zeke is hurt. Who? Oh, my God. Marcel Darius just actually killed Zeke. Look at him. I've never seen an injury in Madden. Oh, are they calling 911? Why are they zooming into the stands? Oh, man, they just they just took us to a black screen. It's third and 11. They got three receivers at the bottom of the screen, one receiver at the top. Uh-oh. And they went draw. What? Dude, what kind of coaching is this, OSU? You're literally letting Alabama destroy you. Hey, second and six, single back. Okay. Oh, it's play action. That means they're airing it out. Ooh, dude. No, no, no. I think that was Dante or Kareem Jackson. Wait. I don't know who came in on the sack. I swear to God, they just changed the camera completely. I think, I don't know who I actually saw. I thought it was a safety coming in. I know that was Kareem Jackson right there. I didn't see Kareem Jackson make contact with the quarterback, but hey, that's whatever. It's third and six right now. A stop right here would put OSU back in the game, probably for their final drive. Like if we're being real, pistol set, three receivers to the top. Lacey in the backfield rolling out. McCarron has a clean pocket. And Lacey, oh my God, fall forward. Eight yard pickup. Stayed in bounds, two minute warning, first down. That might be the game. Single back, three receivers to the top. I highly doubt they're passing it. They do have a tight end at the bottom. They're going strong power to the left. Bouncing to the outside. Dude, huge loss right there. That was a six yard loss. Calling a timeout. Minute and 44 right now. If obviously you know Alabama's gonna come out, they're gonna pay, they're gonna want to run the rock. They're gonna make them, they're gonna force them to use their last timeout. But if Alabama can't pick up a first down on the next two plays, they're going to have to give OSU the ball. Their main objective is to stay in bounds, not run out of bounds, not try to get too cocky. Third and 14, I form set, dude. They're coming out. This is actually goal line right now. Let's see. Oh, it's a play action. Got my neck. Got my neck. Dumb. Dumb play. Horrible. He should have just took the sack. 
Now the clock stops, a minute and 35 left. By the time the punt lands, I'm gonna say a minute and like 25 is gonna be on the clock, dude. OSU final drive. Shotgun right here, man. No timeouts, three receivers to the top of the screen. Ken Cardell Jones, amount of game coming back. Drive is right there, dude. First pass right there, inbounds for a first down, 21 yard catch. Dude, they could be cl they could be clicking right now. Shotgun, three receivers. If you include the tight end at the bottom of the screen, it is a flood concept, but he's going across that middle. Shifty with it. Oh my God, Ted Ginn. Ted freaking Ginn right there, dude. Oh my gosh. Let's see what they go with right here. Spike. Spike is coming out. And yes, there it is. Five receivers set, third and 10. They get a first down, man. They're going to have to clock it. They will get a couple more shots at the end zone if they do get a first down. Incomplete. It's going to be, this is it right here, man. If they miss this field goal, then guess what? They lose. If they make it, we can see overtime. But I mean, there will be a little bit of time left on the clock. Plus, Alabama does have three timeouts left. Let's see what goes down. Let us see what goes down. This uh, It's a 49-yard field goal. 49-yard field goal. Oh, they're icing them. Oh, my goodness. This is it. The field goal of dreams. He was iced. So, I mean, this could be a little shaky for him. 49 yards. 49 yards. Kick is up. Kick's looking good. Kick is through. We could see overtime. OSU won the toss for overtime. They do get the ball right here. Let's see. First and 10. They're running it with Zeke. And Zeke is meeting the committee of all committees. Losing two yards. Shotgun at OSU. This at six yards. Six yards could determine this game right now. Play action. Let's see. Good blocking. Clean pocket. Clean pocket. Cardell Jones rolling. Throwing across his body. It, it incomplete. They're going to have to punt it. Second and 10. Shotgun. Bunch. Three receivers at the top. Let's see what it is. It's a Z spot. Z spot check down. They're going to the check down. Picking up about 11 right there, man. They're cooking right now. Shotgun right here. Lacey in the backfield. Two receivers to the bottom and the top of your screen. Let's see what he's doing. Play action. Play action. Waiting. Oh my God. He's going for the win. He's going for the win. That's it. That's it. That's the game. Oh my God, Alabama with the dagger in overtime. That's a touchdown. I think that's Jacoby Jones right there. Well, guys, you guys, Alabama, that's insane. What a way to finish it, man. McCarron got a dime in him. If you enjoyed, smack a like on the button. Comment if you want to see your favorite college teams go up against each other. They're alumni teams, meaning the best of the best that went there. Well, well, whatever is in Madden, really. The best of the best versus the best of the best from the college alumni. That is in Madden. Just tell me them down below in the comments. Drop a like, subscribe, if you never want to press your night. Boo!